Well, hello there, Mark Risen Hopkins, cryptocurrency and blockchain enthusiast who's been studying and learning about this space since 2011. Today, we're going to talk about how to add an ERC-20 token to your cryptocurrency wallet. You may find yourself in this situation where you've invested in an ICO or you've bought some tokens from somebody and you gave them an Ethereum address a while back and those tokens never seem to show up. You have to add that to your cryptocurrency wallet. Today, we're going to show you how. Stay tuned. So maybe you signed up for some tokens on an Ethereum uh, ICO or someone sent them to you. We're going to show you how to pull those into your wallet because they don't just pop up automatically even though they're connected to the existing Ethereum address that you've already handed out. So we're going to assume that you're going to be using Coinomi, but another wallet that's very good for this that is cross-platform compatible is one called Trust. Uh, but we'll show you how to do it in Coinomi since that's a far more popular wallet these days. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to pull up your mobile browser and go to etherscan.io. It's the blockchain explorer for Ethereum. And you're going to want to look up the name of the cryptocurrency, the token uh, ID that you bought. Uh, we're going to be working with Gollum. I had previously purchased some Gollum tokens prior to the show and had them delivered to my Ethereum address. We're going to show them here in the wallet in Coinomi. So I'm going to type in Gollum there into the search field, and this will pull up the smart contract for Gollum. You can kind of scroll through here and see all the details, lots of people sending and receiving Gollum tokens. All right, we're going to leave that open in the background. I'm going to switch back over to Coinomi. Now, the instructions for this will differ a little bit, varying uh, depending on your uh, installation of Coinomi. I'm going to, go to give you the instructions for the most recent version. Uh, but in, in older versions, you will need to add a few steps to this process, which I'll explain as we go through. So I hit the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner. We're going to go into the tokens area. From here, you're going to select which Ethereum wallet you're going to add it to. So I have two Ethereum wallets here, one for a, a buddy of mine named Caleb, and one is my main Ethereum wallet. That's the one we're working on. Now, many of the Ethereum, as you can see, there's hundreds and hundreds of Ethereum tokens here. Uh, the one that we're going to add uh, actually probably is on the list, but we're going to pretend like it isn't, and we're going to click the not in this list, add manually. So this is where you're going to need to switch back and forth between that screen that we had open earlier. So it's going to ask first for the contact address, or the contract address. Switch over here. You're going to scroll down to where it says ERC20 contract, and you're going to copy and paste this, just the text for this contract. You don't want to copy the link, you want the text. We'll switch back over here, paste that in. Now the next thing, we could copy and paste the name, but we know the name. The name of this contract is Golem. So we can just type that in. The symbol is GNT for Golem. So we're going to type that in. And then we'll go back to the contract because it's going to want to know how many decimals are in this contract. What that means is how many places past the decimal point can this token be subdivided into. Golem has a particularly high one. It is 18. Many sort of default to 8 these days, but uh, 18 for Golem. We're going to slap that in there. 18, hit Add Contract. And now we. this is the screen that you will see after you've added Golem in. So I have added Gollum. If you go over here back to the hamburger menu, you can see my very tokens are listed and now my Gollum tokens are listed. So I'll just tap over on Gollum and you can see that I have received 130 uh, Gollum tokens uh, from an earlier transaction that was not previously showing up until I added the token in. Now it's here. Now you know how to access your tokens. Hope that helps. Well, there you have it, your blockchain and cryptocurrency prescription. As always, these are just my thoughts and I encourage you to seek out a second opinion. Subscribe for more videos on blockchain and cryptocurrency and if you enjoyed today's video, share it with a friend so they can see. Thanks for watching and don't forget to see the receptionist on your way out. Mm -hmm.